going from zero to 180 miles an hour in seven seconds. Like this is happening and, and during all of this, I'm taking off with three G's of force and then have to pull a parachute to try to get myself stopped and have a negative three G's of force. So you've got three times your body weight pushing against you and you want to make sure that you're sitting in the back of that seat and prepared for anything that's coming at you. I was working pretty close to the pain, arm length or even closer. And when it, when it got finished, something happened in my life. I took the painting and set it at the back of my studio in my grandparents' home that had become my, my gallery. And I walked back maybe a few meters and when I turned around, he was looking. I had it. I had it. I felt there, it was just like a, a moment of grace. I, I sat behind my drum set for the first time, this big crazy kit, and I'm like, what do I do now? I have no idea what I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? So right at that point, I said, you know what? This, this drum set is Neil inspired, it's Rush inspired. So what I decided to do at that point is I wanted to get back into my concert level, playing ability, the ability to play for two hours without breaking a sweat, so I decided I would work on about seven or eight Rush tunes. And uh, I learned all of those songs. That's how I learned how to play a big drum set again. And how to get my, all of my chops up again and all my rudiments and everything back on and be tight. And what I would do is I would, those, I would play each one of those songs back to back and I would loop it twice. So that was two hours. So I would train. I trained every single day for two hours playing Rush. Thank you.